Hello, and welcome back to Crime Scene Investigators. Now, I do apologise once again. This, uh, I did record a Crime Scene um, Investigators video for you. However, I did not record my gameplay, or uh, my gameplay, um, didn't record my gameplay. So the video itself was useless. Unfortunately. Uh, that's why you see some of these have been attempted, because I recorded videos for them. Uh, but now my, my OBS is fixed. It's going to be the last time I mention it in a video. We're back. I'm here with another crime scene investigation for you. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can do here. Now, uh, I think this one... Yeah, I recorded a couple in here, which we've done. The uh, the dinner party was the same as the demo, pretty much just a few names changed. Uh, the break-in I recorded a video for. Uh, and I managed to get three out of the four. It was just the person that killed the, uh, the guy that broke in. So basically what happened was the mother and father of two children essentially got a divorce. I think it was a divorce, or a, they split up anyway. Uh, the father went out on a on a um, on a night out, got drunk, broke into the house via the child's bedroom. The child was uh, away at some sort of camp. I can't remember what the camp was, but they were away at camp. Father broke in by there into the uh, into the office room here, where he met somebody. Who killed him? Gunshots were exchanged. Now I can't seem to pinpoint who it was that killed him. Maybe that's one I do again in the future to show you. But yeah. So let's do this one then. The celebration. Apartment four hundred three. And see what this one's about. Obviously, some sort of celebration gone wrong. I guess. But I hope you're all well. Do uh, I do enjoy making these videos for you, especially the the crime scene ones. That I I really do enjoy this game. <clears throat> so let's see how we do. A group of teenagers were brought in for questioning regarding a murder that took place at a party held at apartment four zero three. Some of, the, some of their stories did not match up, and no one has admitted to anything. Be careful ex examining the details of the scene and reading their statements. Can you piece together what happened at this party? Okay. So something happened at the party, and not all the stories match up. Let's press F, see what we've actually got to... Uh... Figure out who died, who was the second last to arrive, who is the owner of the blue sports bag, who's the killer. Okay. Documents. Okay. A group of teenagers were brought in for questioning. Oh, that was the uh, original statement. Interview of suspect number one, Curse. Christie, sorry. Hello, Miss Carter, can you please answer my questions? I'm sorry, what questions again? Did you see Brian on the 31st of May? No. Did you have any physical contact with him at all during this week? No. When was the last time you met or spoke with Brian? Maybe a week and a half ago? Are you aware that Mr. Brian Olsen is dead? Are you sure? He was killed last night in his apartment. Okay, so Brian Olsen is the one that's got that's been murdered. That's straight off the bat. And we haven't even left the lift. So you're also on the... In the... Uh, Jack. So you're also in the band. Yes, play the bass. I also play guitar. But I also... En I usually end up playing bass. So what would you describe your relationship with Brian? Honestly, he is more of Eric's friend than mine. Eric and I have known each other since elementary and have been tight since. Eric introduced me to Brian in high school and we started playing together. Can you go over your accounts of the incident? 
I was working most of the day. I eventually left and headed to Brian's place. I bumped into Grace in the, uh, at the lobby and we both went up together. What time did you arrive? Around 6.45? Do you, call, do you recall seeing anyone right before entering the apartment? No, I mean, other than the guy at the front desk, all of us had something to drink, so some things might be unclear. I do remember Grace was being, a, being pretty obnoxious the whole night. After I finished my drink, I left the apartment. Why did you leave? As I mentioned, the other officer, Brian, was smoking heavily and I can't stand the smell of it. Where did you go? I went back home. Was nobody with you at the time? Anybody who could co 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 corroborate your story? No, not even the man at the front desk? Look, this is getting annoying. I didn't do anything wrong. You'd, you'd got nothing on me. Just let me go. Lisa. Yes, I'm one of the tenants at the apartment. How close are you with your brother? Close enough. I mean, we don't talk but we about deep things or anything. He mostly kept himself to himself. Are you aware of the allegations towards him? What allegations? Okay, let's change the topic. Uh, out of all the attendees, has any of them shown any violent behaviours or tendencies? Violent? Not really. Well, actually, Andrew's been sus suspended a few times for getting into fights. Can you recall the last time he got into a fight? Last week, actually, he, uh, he and this other guy were fighting over a girl. Wait, you don't actually think he did, right? Do you usually think... Do you usually lock the door for your room? Yes, I like to keep my room private. Brian sometimes has friends over, so I lock it any time. I have to head out. But you said you lost your key. I was coming back from a friend's house, and I must have accidentally left it there. What time did you leave your friend's house? Around 6.30. So, how did you get to the apartment? Well, it was already open. Most of them were already inside. Brian must have left. Must have let them in. What time did you arrive? Around 7. Do you keep a spare key? Yes, spare key in the kitchen. Wall, but it was missing. Someone must have taken it. Can you recall exactly when you noticed the spare key went missing? I checked as soon as I came back, but it was already gone. So how did you get into your room? Brian used his key, uh, his set, to let me in. Do you often have parties at your apartment? Yeah, mostly for special occasions. But sometimes just to hang out on the weekends. Is there often alcohol involved? Yes. Andrew usually buys the drinks for us. Could you repeat what you, just, what you told us? I was asleep. I woke up. It was dark. I went to the restroom. And that's when I saw... I saw him lying in his room. I didn't know what to do. And then what happened? I panicked and screamed. Moments later, Andrew came running by. Gave me a panic attack. Do you have any suspicion uh, Any suspicion as to who his murderer could be? I don't know. I don't understand how this could have happened. We were all really good friends. Hmm. Can you please account when you and the others arrived at the apartment? Well, I arrived at the apartment around the same time as Lisa. And everybody was already there, so I don't know when the others arrived. What happened after? I don't know, man. I thought you have all the answers. It's after midnight. I'm tired as hell. I've got to go soon. What happened after? I was in the toilet puking for quite a bit. And then I, I woke up. Eric. I woke up Eric. And where was Jack during this time? I don't know. None of us saw him for the rest of the night. You were the one who bought the drinks to the party, correct? Yes. Not old enough to drink. How did you purchase them? Did you contaminate the drinks with any capacity? Of course I didn't contaminate the drinks. You do, you do know that underage drinking and purchase of alcohol is a misdemeanor. Really? That's all you got? I thought you guys were trying to solve a murder. Get serious. This is a complete waste of time. None of my friends did what you're suggesting. Grace, can you elaborate more on your relationship with Brian? I already told you, he and I have been dating for about a year. Things were going well. Can you please tell me your accounts of the evening? Look, Christy is 100% guilty here. That line has been trying to get in between Brian and I ever since we got together. Uh, she can't stomach that he chose me and not her. I'm telling you, that girl is bat crazy, psycho. Please calm down, Burns. Don't 
tell me to calm down. That girl sh should be behind bars. Please just answer the question. Fine. I arrived at the apartment the same time as Jack. We got out of the elevator just in time to see Kirst Christy leaving the apartment and run off. Why was she even there? Does she not not does she not even Miss Burns, please focus. You are you sure sure you are you sure you saw Miss Carter leave the apartment? Oh, hundred percent. She's the only girl in the world that dyed green hair and braids hair like that. Please continue. After Andrew came with the drinks, we all started to play a drinking game. We went for most of the night and I eventually knocked out. Can you recall if anybody passed out before you did? I'm sorry, I can't. I completely blacked out. I guess I must have drank a bit too much because cops arrived by the next time I woke up. Eric. Can you please account when you and the others arrived at the apartment? I know I was the fourth to arrive. Brian, Grace and Jack were already there. I must have missed something because Grace's attitude was off the entire time. Maybe Grace and Brian had a fight? I have no idea. I was super glad when Lisa arrived. She always lists, she always livens the mood. I think Andrew was the last to come. He's always late for everything. Where are you drinking that night? Uh, we, we all were. Grace usually doesn't drink that much, but that night she chugging as if there was no tomorrow. Anything to note of that night? I'm not sure how drunk I was, but I do remember Jack and Brian were arguing for a bit. Things got pretty heated, but Brian e eventually got up and locked himself in his room. You were the one who called 911, correct? Yes. It says here on the report that you discovered the body and called law enforcement after two hours. Why did it take you so long for you to call law enforcement? Because Andrew was completely against it. And why was he against calling the authorities? Something about underage drinking and him getting in more trouble than the rest of us. I see. Look, I know he's a little dumb at times, but trust me, he did not... He didn't do this. Mike stopped working. Okay. What part of I don't remember much do you not understand? Please calm down. We're just trying to clarify certain details. Please tell us again. Like I said, I was drinking heavy that night. I must have passed out because the next moment I remember was Andrew waking me up by pouring water on my face. Lisa tells me he had a, p a pretty big argument with Brian last week. Want to tell me about that? Seriously, you guys are reaching. He was on my case about interrupting rehearsals with my mistake. I've been busy re recently, so I haven't had much time to practice. But come on, there's no way I'll kill him over something like that. I have my pride as a musician. I was going to show him up on my performance. Right, so Eric was the fourth to arrive. So Brian, Grace and Jack were already there. Then Eric. I must have missed something because Grace's attitude was off the entire time. Maybe Grace and Brian had a fight. I had no idea. I was super glad when Lisa arrived. She was always... Uh, she always... She always loved us a mood. I think Andrew was last to come. So was Lisa the... What was the question? Who was second last? So possibly Lisa. Who's the owner of the blue sports bag? Who's the killer? Right, okay. Right, well, we'll go with... Oops. We'll go with that for a second. How do I get back off of this? Oh. That one. Right. So, let's check out... Whoa. Let's check out 403. Okay, so here we are. We're in 403. I found it. Nobles, Nobles High School. Home of... Golden Wolves. Okay. Got the old uh, foosball table. Ah, oh, this must be the blue bag. So, tennis. No kind of initials engraved in it or anything. No, it doesn't appear to be. Okay, this. Music. Okay. Grease the elbow. Mouthing off today. 
mouthing off today. Okay. Hey, I know we're becoming better friends than we have been. I just feel like I owe myself to get to get this out. Christy, I do have feelings for you, and I'm really nervous to tell you this. And by this, I'm not asking you to return these feelings, nor am I asking you to be anything more than you than you have to, than you have been to. Okay, so someone who loves to play tennis and music. Oops. Dynamic. Okay. Okay. Someone who has an inhaler. Alrighty. Noble Summer School, Mr. and Miss Carter. Who's Carter? Uh, and I was just scanning through it. Doesn't mention a student name. Okay. Was Carter Lisa? Um, uh, when did I see that about Miss Carter? So it's Grace Burns. I saw somewhere it mentioned the name's Miss Carter. Now, where did I see that? Because that would be the red bag, which means it's not the blue bag. Jack likes to play bass guitar. Uh, but doesn't Eric as well? Eric introduced me to Brian in high school and we started playing together. Okay, so... Eric and Jack, possibly... I need more information on who um Miss Carter is Christy. Right, okay. So that's potentially Christy's bag. That one's either Jack or Eric. Oops. No, not the bag. I was trying to get the bin, but it doesn't look like I can. Darts. Okay. Eric's cup is on the floor. Right. Do -do -do -do. Andrews is on the table. Has that even been used? Hmm. Half eaten pizza. Oh, there's pizza all over the place. Games console. They're out there, man. Okay. 
shoe, random shoe. Traffic cone, of course. Of course, okay. Not missing nothing there. Nothing in the bin. Take. Brian's cup with potentially something in it. Jack has got liquid in his. Grace has nothing in hers. Okay. Not sure if that actually makes any. Uh, any importance, shall we say? Nothing on the fridge. Hmm. You play along in the comments what your thoughts are. Hmm. Nothing there I can interact with. Lisa's cup is to be empty as well. Okay. How to survive on your own. Can't access that either to read that. So that's probably not that important. Okay. I can go into these rooms. Anything in here? New? Okay. I can go in here, but I can't actually do any anything in here. Good to know. Good to know. So this is uh, going to be Lisa's room. Messenger group chat. Racket scientist. Hey guys, even though even though school is over, do you guys still want to meet up and practice in the, in the summer? I'm fine with meeting up, but my family and I are going to be out of town around the end of July. Anybody else? Okay. Kitty lover. Uh, as you all know, a few of us are going to be graduating. We're going to have a grad party at our place 7pm on Saturday. Let's go. I'm bringing drinks. Okay. So I'm guessing Jester is Andrew because he brings he bought the drinks. Vader, I'm guessing, is uh, Brian. Gamer boy. Why can't we just go to the arcade? Arcade, really? I don't understand how you enjoy that boring place. And what? Chugging a whole bottle of Cordia light is fun for you. I think the arcade is fine. Chill guys has already made preparations. I just want us to enjoy our last time at high school to high schoolers together. Someone needs to watch over Eric. Make sure he doesn't drink so much. Party pooper. You bathed all over the couch, you boozer. Took me a week to get rid of a smack. Okay, so that that one's Eric. Kitty lover must be Lisa. Vader is Brian. Gracie is Grace. Gamer Boy, I wonder if that's Jack. Who's Lord Killer? Does he come into this conversation? No. Does not. So who is Lord Killer? Hang on. Lillian. Guess who saw who I saw trying to walk home with Christy today? 
definitely a reaction. Girl, I'm telling you, he's 100% into Christy. I bet you that's the only reason he joined the tennis club. So whoever's into Christy, whoever likes Christy, is the owner of the blue bag. If it is, thank God he did. He's one of our best players. He's going to have a tough time getting through the her brothers. I know all of them. They're all pretty nice guys. So who, who is it that likes... Who is it? Whoever likes Christy is the owner of the blue bag. Because in the blue bag was the tennis equipment and music. So it must be either Eric or um, Jack. Was that his name? I don't know if you heard a word going around that Christy was sexually assaulted by someone at school. She hasn't been to school in a few days. Then I'll be joking. What's school doing about it? They haven't issued any statement yet. Hopefully, it's nothing. You know how she is. She's such a drama queen. You're lucky you have your brother. What's that supposed to mean? The big guy, even guys are intimidated by him. The perfect creep. Tarrant. Uh, have you heard from Christy? She hasn't been to school in a few days and she's not picking up. You haven't heard? Casey told me she was sexually assaulted by someone. Please tell me they caught, his, caught him. Easy there, cowboy. She, it's just rumour. School hasn't said anything yet. Hopefully it's nothing. Since Christy is graduating this year, we'll need a new captain. I think you'd be a good fit. What do you think? I was hoping you'd be up for the task. Let's talk about this tomorrow at school. i got to go soon. Talk to you later. Zane, that's a new one. So whoever's into Christy is the owner of the blue bag. Did I miss something? Hang on, let's go back to... Uh, was it Eric? Grace usually doesn't drink that much, so last night she's talking to know tomorrow. Anything to note of the night? How? Not sure. But I do remember Jack and Brian were arguing. Hmm. Andrew was against it. Um, okay, perhaps it wasn't. Uh, front desk. I do remember Grace being pretty obnoxious the whole night after I finished my drink and left the apartment. And Brian, honestly, he's more of Eric's friend. Which one? Which one is into? Uh, Lisa, so when you arrived, what happened after? Hmm. Not sure which one is into Christy. Oh, that's the laptop again, okay. Tennis club, tennis club, tennis club. It must be Eric or Jack. Anything of interest on here? Last day of school. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anything of interest on there. Sherlock Holmes.
Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything down there. Okay. Spare keys. Yeah, can I not get in there? Thank you. Okay. So it looks like it's probably a chest or back wound. There's a key for something. There's music equipment of some description. A notice of suspension. Several. Oh, sexual harassment. Oh, so Brian. On May 26, a student reported that Brian had sexually assaulted her. These are serious allegations, so the school contacted law enforcement and an investigation will be conducted. We ask that all parties involved keep to themselves until the investigation has concluded. Parents of both parties have been notified. 5pm on May 30th. Okay, May 30th. Brian got suspended on the 30th of May. And where's that? Go back to the calendar. When was 30th of May? That was the Friday. Didn't they have the party on the Saturday? Confused. But when the party was. Tells me on the laptop. Uh, group chat. Yeah, 7 p.m. Saturday. So he got ex expelled on the 30th, or suspended, I should say, on the 30th, which was the Friday. Their party was the Saturday, the day after, which had time for that message to get out of the reason why which could lead to somebody attacking him for that reason maybe because said um person that has a crush on christy found out and didn't like it which was was that Andrew that um did Eric say he was arguing with? Jack and Brian were arguing. Okay. What's this? Messenger group chat. Grab party. So yeah, Vader is Brian. That's what I said. Gamer boy must be Andrew then. Do, 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 do. Dead Eye and Clad, killer, clad Killers. We need to practice. So that's the name of the band then. Okay, I can't do Tuesday either. I agreed to help my dad this, at his store. This one's can't make a extra schedule. What about Thursday? Thursday is fine with me. I'm good for Thursday, same here. Cool. Okay. Dude, you can't just bail. I'm really sorry something came up. So Jester is Jack. We can't practice without a drummer. You're the only one who knows how to play the drums. Do you know how important this gig is? Okay, so Jester, I'm pretty sure, is Jack. Let's confirm that. 
Is it Jack? Is that he... Yeah. No, he plays guitar or bass, yeah. So Jack is uh Jester. Fact you something, did you get it? Hey, what what am I looking at? This just came today. Keep this between us, please. I don't want anyone else to know about this. Is this true? Of course not. You think I'd be sharing this if it was true? I bet you a million it was Christy. I was thinking the same. Can you talk to her? I swear I'm going to kill her next time I see her. Calm down. Don't make this worse than it is. Just talk to her. Only she can make it, this go away. Fine. Can you come over to my place Saturday? I want to go over bass arrangements for the new song. I'll come over after five if that's cool. I'll be with my dad's store till then. Who was working before he came to the party? Was that Jack? I think that was... Wait, I'm confused. Come over Saturday. Somebody was working before the party. That'd be one sponsor I can ask. Right. Who was working before the party? I thought it was Jack. Uh, I was working for most of the day. I eventually left and headed to Brian's place. Yeah, so Jack was... the one that was working. Um... I thought Jack was the only one that could play drums. No one else mentions anything about... Hmm. Well, that's not making sense because it's two different usernames. Um, we go back in here, private chat, two different usernames. Can't practice without a drummer. You're the only one who knows how to play drums. Which is bass, isn't it? Pretty sure that's right. Uh, but then that puts Gamer Boy as Jack. Hmm, okay. Perhaps I'm being too hung up on uh, usernames here, figuring out who's who. Uh, what's that? <gasps> so he was shot with a 9mm. Interesting. Is that an exit wound? Exit. Not that I can see. So my guess, regardless whether he did or didn't, is the fact he... The information about him being... About him sexually assaulting... Potentially Christy. That's another set of keys. Um, got out. One of the friends at the party then took it upon themselves to Kill him. Be it drunken rage or whatever. So the spare set is in the 
thing here. So Brian was already in the room. Brian was already in the room because his keys are here. Somebody took the spare set of keys to get into the room to shoot him or to confront him. Now, as to who, that is still a mystery. Because that is unclear. As to who actually killed him. Let's go back to uh, Lisa's computer a second. And private chat Lillian. Guess who was trying to walk, trying to walk home with Christy today? You're overreacting. I'm telling you he's 100% into Christy. I bet you he's, I bet you that's the only reason he joined the tennis club. Okay, let's go back to the blue bag a second. Did I miss something on the um, thing here? Now, these are obviously notes. I'm no good at reading music notes. So, I don't know. LR, LR, is that. Is that bass notes? Or is it guitar notes? I have no idea. Introverse, of course. Band only. Interlude. Guitar note hats. Free course. Field course. Course add extra hats. Ending. So that says guitar notes. That'd be bass guitar, wouldn't it? Not bass drums. Okay, so I'm going to say that that is Jack's bag. Jack, the one that could do both? Yeah. I play, yes, I play bass, also play guitar, but I usually end up playing the bass. Hmm. Am I on the right track here? Hmm. I don't think Jack killed him because he left early. And people said they didn't see him for the rest of the night. Now, did... Who was it that they asked? It wasn't Andrew. Are you sure you saw Miss Carter leave the apartment? which was Christy. hundred percent she's the only girl guy green hair braids like that. Same time as Jack. On the elevator, just in time to see Christy leave the apartment and run off. 
Uh, as you came in the drink, start playing drink games. Went for most of the night, eventually knocked out. Uh, completely blacked out. I guess drunk too much. Okay. She's she lived with her brother, obviously. Um Andrew's been suspended a few times getting into fights. Uh, he and this other guy are fine over a girl. Uh, I was actually think he did it right. Do you usually lock the door for your room? Yeah. Brian sometimes has friends over, so lock it anytime. But you said you lost your key. I was coming back from a friend's house and must have accidentally left it there. What time did you leave your friend's house? 6.30? So she got to the apartment about 7. Who is... So... Did Lillian? And surely not Lillian. Where's Christie's uh, story again? Uh, did you go see Brian on 31st of May? She says no, but she was seen leaving the apartment. Did you have any physical contact at all with him during this week? No. Okay. So she's saying she didn't have any f uh, physical contact with him, despite the alleged sex uh, despite the assault against him when was the last time you spoke with Brian maybe a week and a half ago uh, he was killed last night in his apartment where did you go where were you on the night of 31st of May I was at home hmm okay but she was seen leaving the apartment just as the party was starting to get going Right. So, what are we thinking here? Put it in the comments. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. The only two with motive to kill. Uh, Brian, at the moment, is Christy herself. When was this dated? May 28th. Which was a couple of days before the party. That's when... Well, that's when she re uh, reported it. That's when she reported it to the school. So yeah, it was either Christy herself or potentially Lillian because she had the Allegedly, possibly had the keys. That box, I can't seem to. It seems like I should be able to look in that box, but it's not allowing me to. So, uh, Christy, because Lisa left, allegedly left the keys at Lisa's house. Uh, Lisa allegedly left the keys at um, Lillian's house. Which are now in the door, by the way. So the spare keys have turned up again. 
Now, Jack uh, left the party early as well. It's just coupons. Okay. Well, that's Lisa's cup again. Well, well, well. Not missing nothing down here. No. So I'm thinking it's got to be Although that could be Jack's bag because no, what was in here? That's addressed to Carter's, isn't it? Dear Mr. and Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Carter, which is Christy. Yeah, Christy is Carter. That has to be Christy. And there is nothing else in here. Just the letter and the inhaler. So the blue bag, tennis club. Don't see it being Eric. It is a male. That leaves Brian and um Brian, Jack and Andrew. Now I'm thinking it's potentially Jack because of the music stuff in there. And Andrew allegedly bailed for that. So I'm going to go with Jack on the music, on the uh, blue bag. Um, Private department at the same time around Lisa. Uh, what happened after? I don't know. I thought his answers have got to go soon. I was in the toilet puking for quite a bit. Then I woke up. Eric. And where was Jack during this time? Don't know, none of us saw him for the rest of the night. Nobody mentions anything about a gunshot. Nobody mentions anything about a gunshot or a loud bang or anything like that. Now, I can't... Unless I'm missing something here in the bathroom. But I can't seem to interact with anything in the bathroom. So. Not too sure why I can actually enter the bathroom. That doesn't do nothing. Hmm. Hmm. 
One of the boys joined the tennis club. I Plenty's bar. Just chocolate. It's nothing of importance per se. Also haven't found a gun. I don't don't know. There's no Wait a second. Wait a second. There's not enough cups, is there? With names on I me. Mean. So we've got Eric and was that Andrew? Eric and Andrew over here. That was Lisa's. Brian. Jack. Grace. A coffee cup, which I can't access. So, who is missing? Andrew and Eric, Grace, Lisa, Jack. Christie's cup is missing. Did I? I thought I found Christie's earlier. Did I not? That's Brian and uh, Jack. That's Lisa's. Brian, Jack, Lisa. You got Andrew and Eric over here. Christy doesn't have a cup. Christy doesn't have a cup. Interesting. Interesting. Read this again. Can you please answer the question? Sorry, what was the question? Did you and Brian uh did you see Brian on the 31st of May? No. Did you physical contact with him at all during the week? No. When was the last time you met or spoke with Brian? Maybe a week and a half ago. Are you aware that Mr Brian Olson is dead? Uh what are you serious? He was killed last night in his apartment. Where were you on the night of thirty first of May? I was at home. Okay, so she's denying being there at all. But her bag, her backpack, is over there. Because that is addressed, uh, that's got a letter in there addressed to uh, Miss Carter, Mr. and Miss Carter, which is Kirst uh, Christie's last name. I keep calling her Kirsty. Christie's last name. So that puts her in the apartment at some point. There is no drink for her. People say they saw her leave before the party was started, so therefore she was the first to arrive, potentially, and does Eric's story confirm that? Brian, Grace, and Jack were already there. I must have missed something because Grace's attitude was off the entire time. Maybe Grace and Brian had a fight? I have no idea. Super glad when Lisa arrived. Right, okay, so... Grace doesn't usually drink. That much, but that night she was chugging as if there was no tomorrow. Not sure how drunk I was. Do you remember Jack and Brian arguing? Right, okay. Right, let's... Um, Grace. I told you, he and I have been dating for about a year. Things were, uh, things were going well. Can you please tell me your accounts of the evening? Kirsty is 100% guilty here. That Lion Toe Rag has been trying to get in between Brian and I ever since we got together. Can't stomach that I chose that he chose me and not her. I'm telling you that girl is 
Psycho. Calm down, Miss Burns. Don't tell me to calm down. That girl should be behind bars. Please just answer the question. Private department at the same time as Jack. Got out the elevator just in time to see Christy leave the apartment and run off. Hmm. Hundred percent. She's only girl with green, dye green hair and braids in her hair. Uh, right, okay, so, was Grace jealous of the potential fact, so, hang on, Grace, where are we, Lillian, you're definitely reacting, and I wonder if it was uh, Brian that potentially joined the tennis club. God, he did. She's one of our best players. He's going to have a tough time getting through her brothers. I know all of them are pretty... They're all pretty nice guys. Uh, where's the group chat? Um, who am I looking for here? Grace. Which one is Grace? Well, you'd think it was Gracie, wouldn't you? I think the arcade is fine. So that wouldn't make sense. Gracie is the only other girl in this... ...chat. Uh, Christy wasn't allegedly wasn't at the party. There's no drink here that proves she was at the party, but her backpack potentially is here. Um, so was it Christy on a jealous rage? Because nobody reported that. They heard gunshots, but nobody said they saw Brian either. Or interacted with Brian, rather. N yes. No, because Jack... Jack was arguing with Brian. Yes, Jack was arguing with Brian, according to one of the reports. Um, more of Eric's friend... You can't answer. I was working most of the day. Left Brian Grace. <sighs> mm. Seen anyone for entering the apartment? No. Other than the guy at the front desk. All of us had something to drink, so some things might be unclear. I do remember Grace was being pretty obnoxious the whole night. Why did you leave? As I mentioned, the other officer. Mentioned to the other officer, Brian was smoking heavily. So, no, Brian was alive at the point Jack was there. Which means if Kirsty did. Uh, Kirsty, for goodness sake. If Christy did leave the apartment as Jack and Grace were getting there, he was still alive at that point. Which means Christy didn't kill him. Could it have been Grace? On a jealous rage after hearing about alleged assault with um Christy. It's all confusing, and I feel like I'm missing something. But I cannot piece together who it is. 
Now this could be Jack. And that's what we'll go with. I don't think we need his surname in there. Killer could potentially be Grace. Trying to pin it on um, Christy. Is that the right thing? Is that right? Hmm. Let's have one more look around the apartment. See if we can see or find any th more information. Um. If not, then that is what we're going to go with, because... What's that say? Oh, that's just the name of the band. Okay. And I would say it's probably a guitar in there anyway. That's definitely a guitar. I'm not too familiar. Hmm. Thinking. That is what I am coming to figure out. I'm, I haven't stood back up. <laughs> I was like, why am I so short? Definite shot. Gunshot. There's keys in there. There's drumsticks back there. You're the only person that can play drums. Why is there drumsticks back there? Because on the thing here, messenger, private chat, uh, I don't want to go over a bass arrangement of a new song. Come over after five if that's cool. I'll be at my dad's store till then. Um, yeah, I was thinking this was somebody else and jester was jack dude you can't just bell i'm really sorry can't practice without a drummer and you're the only one who knows how to play drums do you know the importance how important this gig is maybe jester is not jack Maybe Gamer Boy is Jack. Gamer Boy has to be Jack because he talks about going over bass. Jack says he plays mainly bass in um in his uh his report.
I don't know. I don't know anymore. I think it's got to be. that I I've got to be missing something in here surely but it's not letting me interact with anything other than the door I can't do anything more with so yeah Not sure on that one. Uh, right, well, yeah, I think we'll just submit that then, because I can't see anything else. Is that something on top of the fridge? That. No. Can't see anything else. So I think, let's just check. It was definitely Brian who died. Second to last, uh, second last to arrive was Lisa. The owner of the blue sports bag, possibly Jack. And killer, maybe Grace. Alphanumeric input is half width. Whatever that means. Okay. Well, let's submit that and see how we do. Yeah. See how we do. Two out of four were correct. So, hmm. Two out of the four were correct. Well, just Brian, Lisa, I think it's these two questions that were wrong. Owner of the blue sports bag. Hang on. Who is this Lillian person? That's what I need to know. Let's see. Private chat, Lillian. Guess who I saw walking home with Christy today? Definitely overreacting. I'm telling you he's 100% into Christy. I bet you the only reason he joined the tennis club. If it is, thank God he did. One of our best players. He's going to have a tough time getting through her brothers. I know all of them, they're pretty nice guys. Maybe it was Brian that joined the tennis club to get to Christy? Sandra uh, going around that Christy was sexually assaulted by someone at school. She hasn't been to school in a few days. Better not be joke. Better not be joking. What's school going to do about it? They haven't issued a statement yet. If it's nothing, you're lucky you have a brother. Mm. Zane. Uh, new captain, good fit. What do you think? Open task. Uh, that's from Christy. It's been a few days, not picking up. Have you heard? Have you haven't heard? Casey told me she sexually assaulted someone. Uh, okay. 
so it's not Jack's bag. Uh, would it be Eric? No, because there's tennis stuff in there, isn't there? Uh, we go with Jack. Go with that for now. Got three out of the four now. So I think Jack must have killed him. Jack has to have killed him then. Is that right? That's the only thing that makes sense. Is it Andrew that had the crush on Christy? Yes. There we go. There we go. Four out of four. I know it was a bit of a... I guess you could say a cheaty way of doing it, but... It came down came down to process of an elimination. Once I gathered all the evidence that I could find, it came down to two people that killed him, and that was Grace or um, Jack. I went with Grace first, and that was wrong. It was Jack. As for the uh, the blue bag, I was thinking Jack all along. I was. Um, Eric just didn't make sense to have that blue bag, but I put it in anyway. Brian, I don't see why it would have been Brian's, even though it's his apartment. Um, yeah. Uh, and I don't really understand how Andrew tied into it unless I've missed something but do let me know in the comments about that um so yeah there we are there's another scenario of uh, crime scene investigators hope you enjoyed that I certainly enjoy the game so uh let me know in the comments what what was your thoughts as uh, as we was playing through it let me know uh until next time Thanks for watching. Bye for now.